I'm attorney Pat Dunn. Auto accidents are a part of life. I hope you never need an attorney, but if you do, the team at the Mack Law Firm is here to help. Jeff, what's the biggest project Holly and Smith has ever done? Ken, I'm glad you asked that. It would be ironic that little old Hammond, Louisiana, our firm being located here, they've had the opportunity to design a 22-story hotel in downtown Nashville, Tennessee, a block from their convention center. You know, we really aren't hospitality architects, but this project fell into our laps through the client. We did a project for them on Chapatula Street in New Orleans. It's called Cambria Hotel, which is part of the Choice Hotel family. So they, they came to us and, and were very pleased with how we got through the, the system of New Orleans, which is very complicated, get all the approvals we needed to get that building built. This was in Nashville. You no, know, the first one in New Orleans, and that's how we got to meet the client. And then they, they bought a property in Nashville and asked if we'd help them go there. So, of course, we had to get our license in Tennessee. Our architectural license is by state. And so we went up there and had a very complicated and difficult site. But uh, they're very proud to be watching the NFL draft this past year with my wife sitting next to me. And they did a sky view of the city. And there was our building. I said, Barbara, look, our hotel we just designed in Nashville, Tennessee. Tennessee. Very, very exciting project. What stands out about that hotel in your mind? The complexities of the site and how we had to get the cars off the street through the building, how we had to have five levels of parking, and then we had to have a lobby on the fifth floor with a swimming pool attached to it, and then a tower, you know, a 17-story tower of hotel rooms on top of that. Very, very challenging. So does it give you confidence knowing that from Hammond, Louisiana, not bad for local boys, that you did a project that big, who knows, maybe in the future you'll do something bigger? Uh, maybe, maybe so, but I don't know. That's pre it's pretty impressive uh, to be able to do that, again, from, from humble beginnings here in Hammond. So uh, maybe something in the water here in Hammond. I'm not sure, but it's a great place. So you guys are the new generation here at Holly and Smith. Yes, we are, Ken. That's right. <laughs> so what is it like to get into the architectural business at a time like this when it seems like you can Google designs for buildings? You don't need an architect, do you? Well, yeah. I, People can do that, um, but you know we're not new to the business. Uh, Ryan and I have been practicing architecture for uh, over 20 years now, and we've uh, actually both started uh, our careers with Holly and Smith in uh, in the late 90s and early 2000s. So um, we're um, we've been here a while. Yeah, we have. And it's illustrative of the fact that this wonderful building, which is in a great part of town in downtown Hammond, it's the hub of a very big enterprise. Absolutely. Um, and we also had the opportunity, you know, during that growth, the, during the last 20 years, to expand into New Orleans as well and have an office down there in the Garden District. Well, let's go all the way back to the beginning of how you got involved in the architectural game and how you wound up here. My father, growing up, was a, a, a contractor and um, just he kind of always instilled in me this love for, for construction. and. Um, I was a pretty creative kid. I liked to draw and, and do that kind of thing. So when the time came to pick uh, a profession, I, I knew right away, I knew very early on that I was going to be an architect. Uh, I think, um, I don't know, Brian, you might want to... Well, I mean, similarly, I mean, I didn't have that type of background uh, family-wise, but, you know, I've always been into the details. I've always been um, so enamored by great architecture. Um, Growing up, you know, even churches were a big thing for me too when I was little, and I can remember that. Um, and I, you know, I carried that love um, into school and wanted to be, uh, when I wanted to be an architect. So you guys who came in from out of town, I mean, help me with this because I have always thought that Hammond, mm -hmm. with the preserved downtown, still a functioning downtown on several levels, the great buildings, some left over from the 1930s. I mean. This must just be a great place to be an architect. That's, that's a good point. Um, when I moved to Hammond in 1998, um, I had, I, I really had different thoughts about where I would end up. Um, going in architecture school, I always kind of aspired to go to a big city kind of thing. Um, Michael Holly came over to, um, to USL then, it was USL when we were there, and uh, kind of scooped us up. I think Ryan has a similar story, but uh, he, mm -hmm. he, he kind of sold big on Hammond and, you know, Hammond actually was not even what it is today, but um, I, could, 
I could definitely see the charm of the downtown Hammond and uh, the great people here in the community. And I was sold, um, and I've been here ever since. That's right. I, like Pierre said, I have a similar story. You know, I went to USL, um, was interviewed by both my Bahali and Jeffrey Smith at that time. And for me, Hammond, I, I didn't know anything about Hammond. I hadn't even heard of Hammond by that time from work. Um, but moving here, and they sold me on it just like uh, Pierre. And when I came here, I felt that wonderful sense of small town, the same sense that I had uh, in the area where I grew up. Uh, it felt right, it felt natural. And it was a, a natural extension to, to set down roots here as well. And the, pre the preserved nature of the downtown and us doing the work to continue that effort to preserve and, and uh, continue um, preserving downtown and adding to the fabric that is Hammond is, um, is a wonderful opportunity. I always say that from the business people I deal with, Hammond is just an easy place to do business from because the traffic is not horrendous like it is even in a great town like Covington. Look at the traffic woes they have. We don't have that. And whatever you need, mm -hmm. it's just so easy here because most things you need, you can get them in Hammond. Most of the expertise you need in computers or anything else, you can find it right down the street. And there's not an overwhelming number of permits you need from the parish or local governments. And I can go on and on. It just seems like this is an easy place to do business. And there's new, there's new enterprise and new businesses moving in all the time uh, that provide those services and even new services that we hadn't had before. Um, you said easy uh, to go anywhere from here. I mean, look at the transportation as, um, opportunities we have with the interstates crossing. We have a regional airport. We have uh, ports, we have the train, so um, fantastic infrastructure. I think the, the thing I like most about Hammond, as far as that discussion goes, is just being um, in close proximity to all of those, yeah. you know, um, if you have the convenience or um, I guess uh, the uh, nice uh, downtown feel of, of Hammond and where we live, but such easy access to New Orleans and Baton Rouge and and wherever you need to go. So it's you it's almost like living in those cities, but not really, because <laughs> uh, uh, you know Hammond is just such a nice town. It takes more than one person to assist in a personal injury claim. I am Attorney Glenn Westmoreland, and we have a strong team at the Mac Law Firm. It is our goal to make sure your injury is properly attended to. Contact me at tangylawteam.com and let us get you the help you need.